Thanks for spending a little bit of speech in a practice part of the board. It's going to take us through um, my CQC. It's easy. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Uh, my talk is also going to be quite brief. Um, hopefully, everyone in the room is familiar with CQC. CQC stands for the Care Quality Commission, and it's the independent healthcare um, regulator. Uh, for next year, they will have um, powers to go into practices to inspect them to check that standards are being met. Um, it is expected that practices will be visited approximately every three years, and during an inspection, the CQC will talk to staff, they'll talk to patients, and they'll look for evidence that, that quality standards are being met. There are 28 um, outcome standards that practices need to be able to evidence um, that they're meeting. The CQC focus is very much on evidence in practice rather than written protocols, so it's really important that everyone in the practice team knows about CQC and what's required. Sorry, I'm a bit nervous, okay, so... Um, <laughs> much of what is needed should already be in place. So, for example, um, the first quality, outcome statement, uh, first quality outcome standard is about respecting involving patients. So every practice should be able to understand the care, every patient should be able to understand the care, treatment and support choices available to them. They should be able to express their views and be involved in making decisions about their care. They should have their privacy, dignity and independence respected and they should have their views and experience taken into account. This is what we do in general practice every day, so every practice will be able to show that they can do this. Some of the other standards are more difficult to evidence, such as premises and staffing. But as long as practices have got plans in place to show how they plan to become compliant, this is okay with the CQC. Um, I could probably talk for ages about CQC, but I won't, because I bore you to tears, and because we've got much more important things to do today. But I'm very happy to answer any questions or queries, so either come and find me or email me, um, and if I don't know the answer, then I will find someone who does. Um, the amount of work coming into general practice at the moment feels overwhelming, and we need to find ways of working smarter, not harder, ways of sharing work between practices. To say it's obvious, we don't want to reinvent the wheel, we don't want to duplicate work, but putting into practice is much harder. It involves changing our behaviours and putting our trust that other people will do things and perhaps relinquishing a little bit of control. Which, speaking personally as a practice manager, is very difficult. True teamwork is a skill. We hope that by working in networks today that we can look at ways of working across practices to share work. Clinical work, but also administrative work. It is very important that the whole practice team is involved. Sometimes the best ideas come from the most unexpected sources, and the more people involved, the richer the dialogue. Whatever your feelings about the changes, or about commissioning in general, we are where we are, and we might as well make the best of it. Um, there is a wealth of talent, experience, and knowledge in the room, and if we manage to harness it, we'll get much further together when we win our own. Thank you. Mm -hmm.